I'll show you how to get the selected items in a Trevi widget. We will cover three methods which allow us to get the text and values of selected rows. Join me as we further explore the Trevi widget in TK Enter. Hi, my name is Jobin and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a list of selected items in a tree view widget. So here I have a tree view widget that's populated with some relatively simple data. We have a kind of like a restaurant menu. We have the pizza section and then the sub items for, for pizza. Then we have a juice section and a couple of sub items for juice, like orange juice and apple juice. And when I click on the get selection button, I want to know which items are selected. Before I show you that though, I'll show you the, the different types of selection modes of the tree view widget. Right now, the selection mode is set to extended, uh, which is the default. When I'm instantiating the tree view class, um, I've set the select mode to tk.extended. And when I do that, when I hold down the control key on the keyboard, it lets me select multiple items. There is another type of mode called browse. So select mode equal tk.browse. And, and this is again part of the, the tree view widget. If I run this, if I hold down the control key on the keyboard, it won't select multiple rows. It only still selects one row. So when the select mode is set to browse, it only selects one row at a time. The other type of select mode is none, which actually won't highlight any rows as you click on them. So in this example, I'm just going to use extended, which is the default. So I don't even have to specify the select mode. And when I don't specify it, it works in, ex in extended mode because I can select multiple items by holding down the control key on the keyboard and then clicking with the mouse. So to, to get the selection, I've created a button and in that button, I've set the command to get selection, which currently isn't doing anything. So here I'm going to write selected item equal tree view underscore food, which is the name of my tree view widget. And I'm going to use the focus method. When I use the focus method, I'm putting that value into selected item um, of whatever that this is returning, which will be the, uh, the selected item ID. So if I run this, I'm going to select the juice row, then I'm going to click on get selection and watch what we get down here. I004. So this is the unique identifier for this row, for the juice row, it's I004. Watch what happens when I select pizza and click on get selection, I001. So all these rows have unique identifiers. For, for super slice, it's I003. So this doesn't give us the text, but at least it gives us the item that we've selected. Um, when you're using the focus method though, if you select multiple items, watch where you're going to get. Actually, I'm going to clear this down here so we start from scratch. So now I have two rows selected, super slice and orange juice. And if I click on get selection, it gives me I003, which is super slice, but it doesn't give me orange juice. So the focus method can't be used to get a list of multiple selected items. It only gives you the first selected item. So if I select super slice first and then orange juice, it'll give me I003 because I selected super slice first. 
If I reverse that, if I select orange juice first and then super slice, it's going to give me the ID for orange juice, which is I005. So that's one thing to keep in mind with the focus method is that it gives you the ID of the first selected item. So what if we want to get the text of the selected item? So in this case, let's say super slice. Right now it's giving us I003. So to get some more useful information from that, we still need the item ID. So here I'm gonna put details equal tree view underscore food dot item. And the item that we're in interested in is the selected item. In the item method, I'm gonna pass the selected item that we got from the focus method at the top. And that information is going to get put into the details variable. So let's print the details variable and see what it gives us. So I'm going to select orange juice and I'm going to click on get selection. So it gives us a dictionary. And this dictionary has useful information. So in a tree view, the very first column is text. So we can see that the selected row has no text because it's showing an empty string for, for the text. But it does contain values. So this currently has two values, orange juice and 99 cents. And if I select juice and click get selection, we can see that the text for this row is juice because the text is the very first column that the tree view widget makes automatically. And it does not contain values. We can see that values is empty. It's a blank string. So with that, it's giving us information that we can retrieve from this dictionary. So if I wanted to get the name of orange juice here, like from the, from the details column, we know that this is a dictionary. So we can say, product name equal details.get and we want to get the values section of the dictionary and we want the very first index because in this case values will be a list and we want the first item in that list okay so if we print this out let's see what it gives us again get selection and it gives us the information that we're interested in. So the focus method is useful for getting information from a single selected item. But if you have multiple selected items, there is a different method that we need to use. And that method is the selection method. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to change this to plural. So selected items equal tree view underscore food dot selection. And I'll show you what this gives us. So I'm going to select juice and pizza at the same time. And I'm going to click on get selection. It gives us a tuple of selected items. If I only select one item, I get a tuple with a single item in it. If I don't select anything and click on get selection, it gives us an empty tuple. Okay, so knowing this, we can create a loop. We can say for item in selected items. So we can say current item equal tree view underscore food dot item. And the item that we're interested in is also uh, called item from here. And if we print this out, Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm going to select both pizza and juice. And I'm going to click on get selection. Okay, so we're getting the details now that we're interested in. We're getting a dictionary. Okay, and now we just want the values section or the text section. So in this case, we're interested in the text. So we can say current text equal current item dot get text 
and current values equal current item dot get values. And if we print the text, comma, current values, then when we have multiple items selected, we should get the information that we're interested in. So right now we have pizza selected and juice. So we're getting pizza and juice because these two rows don't have any, val any values. There's nothing in the other columns, which is why we're only getting the text. And when it's trying to print the values, there's nothing there. So it's, uh, it's not printing that. If I expand this and if I select pizza and normal slice, for example, I'm just going to clear this so we can click on it again. So I have pizza selected and normal slice, and I'm going to click on get selection. And there we go. So now we're getting the text, which is pizza, and we're getting the values, which is um, a list. So overall, the focus method is used to retrieve information for one selected item. And the selection method is used to retrieve information for multiple selected items. We saw how to get the text and values of selected rows in a TreeView widget. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Until the next tutorial, thanks for watching.